<laughs> this is Jeff <laughs> FM. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Has this always been the intro? It's my first time ever hearing it. We switch it up all the time. Okay, okay. I love that. Wow. <laughs> I feel like this is a military homecoming. Husband comes home from war. Oh, like those viral videos? Yeah, like that's how I feel right now. What? Come on. I have so much to talk to you about. I just got back from vacation. So did I. But you vacation all the time, so it doesn't matter. You know, <laughs> you're always taking these fucking luxurious trips. This oh, was our God. first one that we took in a while, and yeah. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm Would feeling you motivated. You really came back from Europe feeling like that? Mm -hmm. I came tan, back. Tan, look at me. Am I still tan or did it fade yet? You're, you're pretty tan. Right? I kind of, I'm just, you know. We could change the coloring. Up the saturation on Jeff for sure. Um, no, I came actually, back from I, Europe feeling like I got hit by a bus. Look at us. Our chemistry's off. We fucked up. We're talking <laughs> over each other. Well, it, it'll take a little bit to get back into it. Let me go first, all right? I feel fucking incredible. Now, actually, today I don't anymore because Kyle's sick. That's why one of the bathroom boys is now a barbershop boy. He's upstairs. He is. See that? He has been diagnosed with bronchitis. Every other week, I feel like each bathroom boy, one of them is sick. Like, are you I know. feeding them? Are you holding them captive? Like, what's going on? I there? think we got to build some sort of ventilation system in the bathroom. They're not getting enough air in there. <laughs> I don't know if it's healthy working out of a bathroom. It's definitely not, it's not healthy. Not. Sits on a toilet. Do they get health insurance on your payroll? Mm -hmm. uh, we're working on it. We're okay. working our way up. It's, you know, shit like that just don't come right away. I just got health insurance last month. For the first time ever? Yeah, the first time ever. Or right, maybe, uh, what are we working on, like two months now? Like when like you were going under for brain surgery, you're like, I'm just going to raw dog this one, I'm just going to pay I for it. I didn't plan for brain surgery. But uh, you, you didn't make a stop at like Blue Cross Blue Shield before no, the that, That's what I got though, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I got. Yeah. I have that too, I think that's like the rich LA insurance, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, like I don't, I don't, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Our chemistry's off. I think I'm nervous. Do you have, feel it too? No, I'm not nervous. Have a drink. Well, I, I feel wasn't fucking nervous either. I was trying to have a moment. Well, you're back on the wagon or off the wagon. What is it? <laughs> yeah, what is it? I'm on and or off the wagon. You're back fucking drinking again after it's I actually... tell everybody all over, I'm so proud of you being sober and you've been sharp. You've been on time. And look at this. Two and a half hours late today? Yeah, well, now I'm not going to fucking drink I don't it. care. I don't no, care. Here's the thing. Because all the comments on the podcast of me being sober were so uplifting, so amazing, so great. And I, I appreciate it. And I agree with it. But I had always planned on kind of drinking when I went to Europe. And like, you know what I mean? So yeah. I might do another 30 days. I kind of like the on and off. Like, yeah. I still. When I was out in Europe, I thought about it, too. And I never Did really you? think about it. Not really. But my whole family... I met my distant relatives that I've yeah. never met. I only heard that they existed, and they were cool. What were they like? Just fucking gangster Italian guys. Oh, they're all older. There's no young guys like me. Yeah. And that's another thing <clears throat> they were saying. I need to uh, carry on the bloodline, which I'm not even a, a Felsi, which my, that's my mother's last name, and that's what they all are. Okay. But they were mad that I haven't had any kids yet, and they were also mad that I don't drink wine. They said it's a sin. It's a sin to not... So you didn't even have like a glass or a sip? No. That's and good though. I mean, I, and I'm telling him, I'm trying to be like, yeah, I, I just don't drink. And he's like... What do you mean? <laughs> they go like this to you and they just look at you like you fucking piece of shit. And Damn. I couldn't explain to him because they don't speak English. Yeah. I couldn't get into like Google Translate. Like I had an alcohol dependency problem and I was trying to, <laughs> you know, they're like, what is this? I like, have a problem. <laughs> Google Translate. So I guess you got to have kids in order to please them. I know. Them. And they called me an influencer. Did they? In like a, Italian, it sounded like influenza. <laughs> <laughs> I Same sound like shit, a, really. A virus. Does that offend you? Do you know, Do you feel like, are you one of those? No. Like, I'm I, more than an influencer. I mean, it is what it is. But I guess that's good to have like hopes and dreams for like a better, you know what I mean? Like I just take it like i'm a fucking influencer like fuck yeah. well you are an influence you are the definition but now knowing you look down on it no 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 no, no. it's just different for me because i was a drug dealer my whole life okay. so now like yeah being called an influencer so shouldn't is you like, be like grateful <laughs> i guess like yeah it is it's a step up what's worse a drug dealer or an influencer it's I, I still want <laughs> drug dealer i don't know yeah. but if i look at it like a rapper they rap about being a drug dealer because it's a cooler uh, backstory. Yeah. You know, if I was an influencer my whole life, then that would be fucking lame, you know? Yeah. No, uh, see, now that uh, I'm off the bad start. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, totally. I get it completely. Like, that would just be so fucking lame if that's. Uh, for a guy, I don't know. For, for a guy. <laughs> Slay Andrew Look, Tate over I here. I am who I am. You are who you are. Yeah. And we work for some reason. It's like the, the work. We Work show. We I work. sold some drugs. I, I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm so happy you're back on the show. <laughs> I thought Thanks. you were saying happy you're back on the wagon. 
<laughs> no, I'm not happy about that, but I'm fine with it. I'll you know, be, I'm not going to sit here and judge you. It was never a permanent wagon. It was always a 30 day wagon. I know that. So I, know I that. mean, but you, you're saying you like me more when I'm sober. I I'll do it for you. Say it. No, I, I mean, Say yeah, it. I do. I do. Yeah. So but no, also, you know, like me, I'm railing lines, drink. No. I like you for you. However you want to be, I like you. And everybody else does too. No, he's disappointed. I no, no, I'm not. I don't want to come in here like fucking up. It was funny when I'm over here telling everybody you're sober now, and then you go on TikTok and you just got a giant glass of wine and you're just chugging it. it. Well, I mean, in Europe, I always was going to. I went with like a very much party group. Like I underestimate. I didn't relax at all. Like at all. I just underestimated how much it's like Vegas in Ibiza. Oh, you went to Ibiza? Yeah. Oh, much different vacation than what I went well, on. Well, and I went to Italy, but I mean, like, same thing. It was like, just, it was like Vegas vibes. Like, it was just kind of yeah. awful. In Italy, you were raging? Everyone was. Like, the hotel was like a part. Like, it was just like. What the fuck, Kyle? Yeah. Our trip was nothing like that. Mm. You I guys thought you didn't went to go Mykonos. Crazy? Well, I did. Uh, Mykonos was wild. I went out yeah, there with Logan and Mike. Did, at, were they getting fucked up? Yeah, yeah. They had a good time. But that's like Logan's big vacation of the year. Yeah. You know, he signed with WWE and that was like his big thing to do. And yeah. he had his new girlfriend there. Yeah. And Mike What's was. What's that about? What do you Be mean? the one. Be the one to drop the tea. I don't know. I mean, am I allowed to? Is that out? It's public. He well, said right? on he his went podcast. to the KSI fight. He and said on his podcast, like, he was like, I have a girlfriend, like, on his podcast. It was on Daily Mail photos of them in Mykonos. Yeah. So what's the tea? You uh, know. I mean, sh yeah, she's dope. She's really cool. Who is she? Uh, she's a model. Yeah. Um, she used to date Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. Oh, shit. I mean, Did she public. age up for Leo and then Logan had to... Oh, speaking of that, look at the fucking... The memes coming out about Leo. He dumped his girl when she turned 25. Yeah, about how they... <laughs> I just saw a tweet today that was like, he's dating them to tell them all about climate change because like that's the generation yeah. that affects. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. So many that, good memes there. That has to be like a fetish. No. That he he like, dumps his girl if at you 25? Dump every single girl before they turn 25. Like, it's got to be a fetish, right? Uh, he's got to know that that was like a, a running meme and that was going to happen. You have to know that. Why like, don't you just try to stick it out for one more year just to get yeah. to 26 so you avoid that? 100%. Meme. I have a year left, matter of fact. To oh, Leo. Get in there. Yeah, get in there now. <laughs> I, I actually, I, I knew uh, Camilla, is it? Is it? Cammy, Cammy Monroe, his the twenty five year old that he dumped. Oh yeah. I met her when they first started dating because she was doing a movie with Maya, you know Maya Mitchell and I, in my old relationship that I was in. No, <laughs> am I name dropping? <laughs> I was just name dropping all his like past hoes. I'm not name dropping. <laughs> well, we went to I'm Sundance Film Festival for their yeah. premiere of their movie. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, Did you um, meet him? I didn't meet him. No, but he was coming to visit her when they were doing the movie oh, okay. and i would hear like all all the gossip about it i wonder if he's like crazy yeah like he's crazy i heard he fucks with airpods on and he listens to his own is that him i heard that i remember hearing that about someone is that him yeah <laughs> and me i'm the other guy that does it I no would i'm do kidding that. I, and mike i would honest mike would do that mike does it and listens to impulsive like that's exactly like but i would do that i would write <laughs> this, a is so <laughs> this is so insightful how do you think aliens <laughs> fuck? he needs to get some hobbies or something besides partying and fucking podcasting that's all that guy does i feel like his hobby just is i don't himself. care what you're saying mike uh -huh. loves mike more than anyone will ever love mike it's beautiful yeah i, I told kyle on the trip i was like Mike is the perfect fit for his life. He's the only one that could do what he does. 100%. He organizes shit. He like he gets in arguments, but while he's arguing with somebody, he's like squashing another thing in a text. And yeah. he's, he's just Texting such, three porn he's stars so good at multitasking. It but yeah, back to uh, that girl that got dumped by Leo. Her mom was dating Al Pacino. Yeah. And she was dating Leo. Okay. So she would have these audition tapes. She would have these self tapes. Yeah. And they would be reading with her. So like who would it's be? like such a cheat code. You Al Pacino. Oh, it would be literally. He's like, Say that better. <laughs> uh, you hear him in the background. Like, what the fuck? Al Pacino's no doing yourself way. tape. That's actually crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. But and so she, he just broke up with her. And he dumped her. Yeah. Damn. Or I don't know. Actually, it's just it just came out that they broke up, and then the internet ran with it because it's. I mean, that's such a good joke, you know? At that point, you should absolutely just ride it out and get one of them to twenty six. Yeah, that's what I was you saying. I mean? Like, at least just try to fucking just be like, hey. 
let's just do this for one more year. I can't deal with this shit. Yeah. You know, but I guess he doesn't give a fuck. Speaking of age gaps, did you see um, Sherry Nicole and Young Gravy at uh-huh. the VMAs? Yeah, yeah. Thoughts? I, I didn't uh, see much because I was traveling, but we had the episode that just came out with him, so I got to do my research gosh, on it. What, what did happened? He you want to fill me in like we did with Lil Huddy that time? <laughs> now he's saying Lil Huddy, right? He finally learned. I got roasted for it. <laughs> like, you fucking old fuck. So obviously Addison's mom, whatever. I didn't, I never thought Young Gravy would take it that far like obviously he was like beefing with he was Monty. serious about it he's really into her and he wants to be respectful he doesn't want to talk about other women that from the past and stuff because i remember i was bringing things up in the barbershop i'm like what's up with tana you know i'm like what's up with other girls and he's like no we can't talk about them i don't want sherry to get mad so it's Dead real ass. it's real yeah damn that's good we're gonna use that as a clip and a highlight and it's gonna go insane we got all fucking yeah, confirming that it's not a pr stunt right here on jeff fm oh uh, we got all you the can't. juicy stuff and i we never touched on the monty <laughs> stuff because you were out of town oh have we not no i bumped into him at runyon jeff did I tell you this? Yes, you texted me this, and you texted me the funniest shit. I don't even know if you want to... I don't care. Say it. We could I think it. I, I think I said it somewhere, actually, so I mean, whatever. You bumped into Monty at Runyon, and I, I love you because you're very much what you are online. Like, you already kind of weren't fucking with it. I wasn't so my normal know. self because I was thinking... Now, I apologize for this. I was thinking clout. I was thinking... At first, I was thinking young I'm gonna gravy. I'm going to go hang out with David Dobrik. I am sorry. <laughs> and I understand. And if you do that once or twice, I understand. You could get like one pass out of this one. Cause I didn't, eye for an eye, if you will. I didn't approach him about you. And that's what I should have been thinking. I should have been 100% focused on your thing. That should have been priority. But I was shooting. I kind of thought you were the way you worded it over time. I was shooting with gravy later on. And I was thinking that. But when I approached him, he was like, yo, I don't want no problems, Jeff. I ain't trying to box you. Like, that's the first thing he said. So I was like, all right, this whole thing has just bumped down from a threat level red to overall. It probably went to yellow. It was yeah. like not a, not a threat much at yeah. all now. So then I was just thinking, like, let me talk about Gravy. Let me try to get a video of him that I could show Gravy later in the episode. And then I'll get back to the stuff with Tana later. Last but part then sounded I just, like a bit of a gaslight. I don't I think am you have that thought. Huh? Well, I am I, I'll take this opportunity. Next time I see you at Runyon, we're going to have a chat about Tana. I don't like what you said about her body count. Uh, you slut shamed her. How dare you slut shame my <laughs> counterpart here when you're running around doing the stuff you're doing. I got to stop fucking with this guy because I see him at the gym now. Dude. It's <laughs> on. Just low, you're low-key friends with Monty Lopez. No, I'm not huh? friends with him. It's huh, just y'all the, are like, uh, what's it called? No, it's on. You're spotting How about each this? other at the gym. I don't give a fuck if I go to the same gym as him and I just signed up to the gym and I was excited to go there and now I have to bump into him after talking trash about him on the internet. Because he started with you and he he said some nasty things to you and he deserves to get fucking checked again. Yeah, you're hitting me with the stop, stop going to Dobrik's, man. Like, we ride for each other. Like, it's you and me in this until the <laughs> end. Like, man, like, let's go, Tana. I got you. And normally you have my back, too. If I'm fighting with someone, you like, you have my back. But right, no, clout. Just clout. Know, That's I all you fuck, fucking was, saw, Jeff. I clout. Thinking, I, I, don't even, clout. I don't even want your pity Monty Lopez beef now. No, now it's on. Now I'm going to fucking, it, it's on site. Give him I a message. Him. I mean, I'm going to also say it on here, too. That's Look not how the camera. That's not how shit works. <laughs> Incriminate myself. I'm going to be gone. We're not going to be able to shoot an episode of this again. Oh, I said shit. it on here in the episode. Did you watch it? No, I'm sorry. Other Big fan. That are crushing it. See this, Jeff FM? Another show with my counterpart. She's great. You know, now that she's sober and she stopped letting every idiot <laughs> side her all over town. Yeah. I was proud of you. Do you think everyone <laughs> comes inside me? I don't know if we're here. getting along today. I don't need this show anymore, to be honest. Such a cloud chaser. Holy shit. I was I'm proud of you. Game. I was just, I was proud of you, you know? I am I'm proud, proud of, you. of you. I'm still proud of you. But you let everyone come. Do you think I let every? Do you think there's just come dripping out of me okay, everywhere? That I go? show is a <laughs> character. That's a character I do. I'm not that person. That barbershop show is different than Jeff FM. So after this podcast, when you beat me, are you going to tell me you were a character? Then? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That doesn't happen. See, this is I'd a real show. I'd be into it. I'd be into it even if it did happen, honestly. This is a you real show what here. what happens to your dumb ass. Oh, my God. Don't get rid of those Tate sound bites. He's banned. You're going to get our shows taken down. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Um, you folded, Jeff. You folded for the I didn't Monty fold. Lopez I, I, And I'm deeper in this than ever now. This guy mm-hmm. has probably an enemy list, and Gravy's probably number two. I, I'm probably number one slot right now. And he's on steroids. I showed you his back. I looked it up. 
That's that was side effects of steroids. Say. He sent me a photo of Monty's back and the screenshots of steroid side effects. You think he's definitely on steroids? Oh, I put that in the episode. I'm, I'm still the real deal at the end of the day. I just, <laughs> sometimes I wish I was more aggressive and meaner. Yeah. The old me comes yeah. out sometimes. I think you I, lost sight of who you were in that moment. I know. Him. Sometimes I do lose track of who I am. Yeah. And that's why I needed this vacation to get back to my roots. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Italian as fuck now. Today's episode is sponsored by Via Hemp. I was first introduced to Via Hemp from Sugar Sean's podcast. They sent over some gummies and myself and the entire team love them. So much so that I have to hide them from the boys because they eat them all up. And then when it comes time for me to take them, who's the most important one here? I need my, my flow state gummies. There's nowhere to be found. So I, I now hide my gummies because we're running low. They do things way differently than any cannabis brand we have seen before. They make legal THC and CBD products that are based around specific effects such as focus, recovery, sleep, and even just getting high. They use the same THC you'll find in dispensary grade edibles, but because it's the extract from the THC from hemp, they can legally ship them right to your door in all 50 states. I personally been loving these flow state gummies. I take one before every podcast. That's my secret to getting my sharp brain to spit out these witty jokes they have gummies drops vapes and more they have cbg in them cbg is a nootropic found in hemp that naturally boosts mood supports brain energy and takes the edge off i suggest that you try them out they have gummies drops vapes and more if you're over 21 and want to try their products go to viahemp.com and use code jeff for 15 percent off plus they will add a free pack of their award-winning thc gummies to your order that's via hemp, V I I A H E M P dot com, and use code Jeff for 15% off. That's 15% off plus free gummies. Did anything happen over there? Like, did you fuck bitches? Did you go out? Who I pissed you off? I met one off? Italian girl. You, you met her? Yeah, I met one girl. Did you come she, inside her? No, I didn't. Did you meet her with your cock? I have, or I have did a you connection just... <laughs> with her. <laughs> oh, We shit. had a connection. You know, the language barrier was there. I'm not opposed to using Google Translate to get some pussy. Yeah, it kind of makes yeah. it more interesting, you know? Yeah. It's if they hotter. speak a different language and yeah. stuff. It's like what you said about the airport. <laughs> when you see people in the airport, it makes them attend. <laughs> what did you say exactly? Like if you're sitting next to someone on a plane or at the DMV, it makes them attend. Yeah. So if they can't speak English, they're not a Oh, at, at the book. airport and you don't speak English? Oh, my, it's over. And also when you wear masks <laughs> too. You know when people have the mask covering yeah. their face, you just think they're a supermodel underneath 100%. There? 100%. And they take it off and they need to like put a hammer on it. or. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go back to fucking pandemic days. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, I met this girl and she was really cute. She was like, I'm just a normal girl. That's what she said to me, and, I, and she won my heart. <laughs> That's the That's, power dynamic is what really got you going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know what it was. Power dynamic. Oh, because you're saying that. Like, she's just a normal girl. Yeah, and I'm not a normal guy. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? I'm a normal guy. That's what I meant, but it was it was stupid. I'll yeah. go, I'll go. Yeah. Tana, okay. wasn't your thing, like dating like normal people that is my thing lately i'm i'm still on the normal train oh and i am too now yeah look at us maybe i copied you yeah i honestly love a good normie it's everything yeah. we're crushing it we're but back guy, we're, we're flowing yeah i saw a lot of beautiful women in italy i think i have they're so hot out there i was like damn and it's they actually, dress so cool it's yeah it, it was it was insane they're so 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 hot out there what is it what the fuck is it with Italian? i don't know i thought like i was just I being just biased because i found out i'm more italian than i actually thought i was i thought yeah. i was I was only half but i'm actually i'm a, i'm the i'm the real deal <laughs> my grandparents that i mean my uh my relatives they were gold chains like me yeah oh and they're shit. in their 70s 80s damn driving ferraris she's trying to make them proud knock up an italian normie uh-huh really keep it yeah. all in the family yeah i mean i guess they'd be happy about that I mean, but then no. what would i do would i, I move to italy coming inside people so how would you ever not yet not yet you know, there's still time. What Noted. I should if I, I ever get back to my old ways. Do I move to Italy? That could be a power move because I feel like obviously Logan did like Puerto Rico. I'm me just trying to convince Jeff to move out of the country. <laughs> like why? <laughs> like you have a podcast together. I mean, now <laughs> it, with technology, we could just, we could do it through Zoom. Yeah. You know? That's fair. She lives in Milan. If I had a kid yeah. in Milan. Are you worried? Is no, I mean, that'd be B? sick to just go out there like Italian once every two B. months. You that's know? all the kid sees his father is once. It'd <laughs> be really sick to first, be kind of an absent father. Yeah. For the first few years, you know, I'll pop yeah. in, teach him English, play, throw the baseball around with them. 
have a catch. Dad's going to the store. He goes to kick it. He goes to kick the baseball. <laughs> no, damn it! You throw it. That's incredible. It was a good trip. It was good for me and Kyle to get out there and spend some time together. Yeah. You know, we slept in the same room to save money, and then. Well, it's it, it was very weird because we had such a bougie trip in Mykonos. Yeah. And then we go right to this. Such a culture shock. Such a... Oh, so humbling. Yeah, it was, it was a very humbling experience to go from... And that was supposed to be a two-bed room. That well, was they like, don't do they do not do big beds out there. No. Like, at all. Like, it's all twins. Even the king beds are two twins put together. Yeah, and, and, and we got in there, and I was all pissed off, and I went downstairs like this to mm. the to the guy... And they were like, no, that's that's the only thing that they have. Did we you have AC? Beds. No. Barely. I, it smelled like Little Caesars pizza. I was like feral out there. Like I was just warm, so warm, 100 degrees in Ibiza. Yeah. For s- like seven days, I was snapping on everyone. Like I was an awful fucking cunt, honestly. I was so mean to everyone. Like I was just hot and I had no cell phone hung service. Over. Hung over. <laughs> just awful like like feral like it was so bad i i, I just missed america so much i wanted ranch oh ranch yeah. dressing. Yo, i started embarrassing myself asking for ranch everywhere yeah I, I gave up on the ranch i know it's not there but it's oh my god like yeah. i just i wanted ranch and yeah oh yeah we wanted to get out of there towards yeah. the end of the trip we were in rome towards the end mm-hmm. and we just went there to see the Colosseum and shit like that and i'm into you know fighting and stuff so <laughs> i thought it would be a lot cooler than what it was but it's just like gun to my head if you asked me to picture the coliseum right now i couldn't yeah, it looks like a stadium that's made out of it's like the very rocks first and shit UFC. like stonehenge energy so it was made 2000 <laughs> yeah pretty much kind of kind of it's kind of like that it was like it was made 2000 years ago for entertainment purposes in the Roman cool. Empire. I'm trying to get that like a Logan KSI. It's where Jesus there. fought. Is it like still active? Like no, Staples it's not Center active. I, I thought it would be, but they, the whole, the the spot that, like the ground that they fight on, yeah. it's all ripped up from earthquakes and stuff. So oh, they so. just have the whole basement exposed where they would keep the prisoners and stuff because they would fight to the death. They would kill each other. <laughs> Wait, really? Of course, yeah. that's why you love it. That's why I loved it. Yeah, because yeah. it's so interesting. Like what if they had that nowadays? What if they brought it back? Yeah, what if influencer fighting was just like, it was like <laughs> to the Bryce death. Hall or Austin <laughs> McBroom like one of them's dying now we're talking we're on to something could that is that legal if two people agree no, and sign a waiver legal. no but they, why sign a waiver to the death uh, like what if they both like everyone signed like they agreed because murder is the biggest crime that a human could possibly do unless it's the death penalty unless you're on death row so that's what they would do even back then. 2,000 years ago, they were taking death row prisoners and having them fight to the death. <laughs> Once Slaves. I said I didn't know what the Coliseum was, he started talking slower to me. He's like, <laughs> the death penalty? <laughs> so the Roman Empire, right? It's it's He's in bad. the year zero. <laughs> and then this guy, Jesus, starts making some noise out in Jerusalem, making a name for himself yeah. out there. So then they call yeah. it BC. Everything that happened before that is before Christ. <laughs> Jesus, good. Romans, bad. Yes. Good, good, good. good. God, you guys are so knowledgeable well i just did the whole thing i I watched gladiator the night before in the morning of i was like doing all this research and shit but and then i got sick of it because my dad's looking at these rocks he's like you idiot look at this rock it's three thousand years old i'm like dad all rocks are old i wouldn't have even ever thought of that that thought has never crossed my mind well they don't invent new rocks you know like if you just go to runyon those rocks are fucking a billion years old you know like (laughs) <laughs> like, like I just heard the most profound thing ever. Like that, yeah. All Give me rocks some educational old. music. All rocks are fucking old. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Give me something. You know, I'm smart at what I do, man. But when it comes to that type of shit, some scientific, historic shit, I'm out. It's yeah. bad. It's no, bad. history's lame, huh? No, it's it's pretty cool. You know, BC. Sick concept. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were there with me to look at these rocks and we can make fun of them together. I know. What about oh, look at this rock. It says 2,000 years old on it. Who gives a fuck? Honestly. Honestly. All but I rocks should. are old. All rocks are old. Let's new merch. All rocks are old. That's incredible. Go home, dad. Trips over. I was at the fights. Yeah. And How was that? It was good. It was really entertaining. The KSI's fight was fucking weird when he beat up a little kid at the end. So, wait, <laughs> I don't know anything that happened. Uh, you don't watch any of the highlights, uh-uh. anything? Damn. Um, so, Fousey and Deji fought. And How Deji, is Fousey still out here? I know. And he finds himself still catching huge L's. So, you know? Fousey fought Deji. Yeah, and he lost. And that's fine. And he lost. That's and, fine. And they threw in the towel <laughs> for him. And That's he amazing. gave a speech after, and he was like, "I am a God." Kid messaged like, so me, manic. yeah. It was like such a like inspirational speech after he just lost to Deji. He's like, "Last week, a kid messaged me saying that he wanted to kill himself," and then he was like, "I once wanted to kill myself, but I realized that 
I didn't want to kill myself. I wanted that version of me to die. And he like gave this whole speech after. He thought he ate. Oh, no, it's kind of it's sweet. It's sweet. That's sweet. He he ate. <laughs> I had to talk to him after. Did and you? I'm like, what do you even say? I was like, great speech. You know. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> the speech afterwards, good. You know, I saw Dad. I was like, "Yo, that, that was a fucking war. Like, that was great a great fight, yeah. great speech." And Logan had to do an interview about it because he's like the Prime. the main, KSI yeah, vibes. the main. Uh, it's like the Dana White YouTube there. boxer. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, it's insane. They gave him a seat right in the front with mm-hmm. his name on the chair, and we didn't show up to like the second to last fight. So the whole yeah, day it was just the, every every time they cut to it, it was just a chair that said Logan Paul on it. And nobody was there. <laughs> It was pretty funny though. That's pretty cool to show up. It is actually like yeah, and it, it's good. It's pretty cool to show up halfway through at that point. It's yeah, Logan. Um, so so they, KSI, how was his fight? Oh, terrible. Uh, That's what I saw. He beat up on not boxers. They had no business being in that ring. Like it was KSI and who? A fucking rapper that learned to box two weeks ago. Blueface. No, no. not even Blueface. Swarm, is, is, Swarmzy, I think, or Swarm. Yeah, and that kid wasn't even so bad because he, I mean, he got rocked with a few shots. He was trying. The KSI other kid, won. Case I won both fights, yeah, but he was fighting. Uh, he fought a child Chill. and a, Fox. a rapper right off the couch, <laughs> smaller than. I mean, he was younger for he, sure. He looked like he looked about ass. seventeen. Like yeah, dead he, ass. Yeah, like Kyle's body type. It's like if I said I wanted to throw a boxing event and I just said, "Yeah, uh, you just fight me." Oscar's gonna have to fight Liam, and I'm gonna fight Kyle. Yeah, you know, and yeah. and everybody else's fights are fucking horrible. They get brain damage for life, and I just get to go in there and wail on a fucking little toothpick that and it's nice. my event and at the end of it i'm like yeah my yeah. event was great <laughs> it was like it's scripted bad. pretty How much because you feel about it i think he's like it's entertainment it yeah. worked but um and in his defense his opponent pulled out yeah it, it, the the kid alex wasabi pulled out so yeah. that's why he had to get these two nobodies that he had why to fight did alex wasabi pull out? Oh. he got a concussion allegedly yeah, he had a yeah. head injury or something, okay. which, you know. I just wanted the update. That wasn't that interesting. I just didn't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just really it was just know. like entertaining, like a circus act. It wasn't like crazy, crazy. Wasn't Jake supposed to show up and like try oh, to fight KSI? Oh, I told you that, right? I yeah. thought that initially, but he didn't. But he didn't. No. And now he wouldn't fight KSI, right? Well, yeah, I think Jake is a real boxer pretty much mm. now. You know, like he's he has to take fights with people that are... A serious threat i think his next fight's anderson silva which is still a 46 year old man but he's uh, the baddest 46 year old man you could possibly fight you That's know fire. That's yeah incredible. so that'll be cool but who knows did it inspire too much. you to box yeah but also i got a metal plate in my eye socket so i think i'm gonna have to live through you i'm gonna have to train you i'm gonna have to train churdley's is <sighs> never been trained like that before that's scary. Okay. I'm just kidding. It was a joke because you called me a cum dumpster on the other show. Missed it. Character. Oh, man. I can't win them all. Um, yeah, no. Never boxing. I was just... Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm off today. Maybe are we off? No. No, we're not off. Is it because I'm drinking again? You left. I went toxic. I went rogue, you know? Yeah. Went to a Ibiza. I met up with my ex-girlfriend. I was back on my belly. Oh, I saw that. Shit. Oh, I got back to my old ways. Did you guys... We hung out. Okay, hung out. Yeah. Elaborate. I was in Ibiza, and she was like, where are you? I'm here. And I was like, here, where? I thought she meant LA. And then she was like, I'm at the W Hotel, and I was at the W Hotel. And I was like, this is this is fate. Why are we at the same hotel at the same Sounds time, like at the same place in Ibiza? So we met in the hotel lobby. We hung out. In the lobby? Day. No, we didn't fuck. <laughs> oh, you didn't? We didn't. Oh, okay. Did you make uh, content? Do you want to talk? You want to take a break for a sec? You want to take a break? Oh, you want to go outside? I'm dripping wet. <laughs> I told you about my normal girl that yeah, I met. That you met with your cock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today's episode is sponsored by Casetify. Do you drop your phone from time to time? Are you in need of a case that's not ugly and bulky that'll make your phone look terrible? Putting protection, sustainability, and style. Casetify has got you covered. Casetify's goal is about creating a case that is not only sleek and stylish, but also protective. Engineered with EcoShock, Casetify's latest protection tech, their newest iPhone 14 Impact Series is 20% more protective and just as slim. Their cases are optimized for protection up to 11.5 feet and 5 times the military standard, withstanding drops up to 130 times. I guess you could fucking 
take these cases into war. But it's not all about protection. They've got a large range of points and designs created by our diverse community of artists. So there's something for everyone. You can also design your own custom cases so the options are truly endless. With a strong built-in magnet, the cases are also MagSafe compatible and attaches seamlessly to any MagSafe item. And they're sustainable as well. Their cases are developed from 65% recycled and plant-based material, as well as being partially made from upcycled phone cases through our Recaseify program. As you can see on the case, it, it has these little speckles, these little sparkles kind of. You can tell that the cases are recycled and reused materials. It's super cool. I love my Caseify case. I got my custom Jeff FM one here. You guys could make your own custom Jeff FM ones, or you could just make a custom whatever you want. I love Caseify. Thank you for supporting the show once again. Get one of the most protective, cool looking, and environmentally friendly phone cases the internet has to offer. Get 15% off using my code 15JeffFM. That's 15% off at Caseify.com with code 15JeffFM, or use my link in the description. Wait, guys, talk to me about this. Because I saw this tweet the other day. Like, and it was someone, I don't even remember what the tweet was. It was like this girl was talking about a guy that has like a PhD in like science and whatever the fuck and whatever and like works in voting on women's reproductive rights. I don't even know. But he was talking to her about, he was like, how do you pee with a tampon in? And I, I just want to know if you guys... He doesn't come out of that hole. Okay, you know that. Yeah. yeah. There's like a all little... You know there's that? like a bean on top of the vagina, right? Just, I just wanted to make sure all of you knew that pee wasn't coming out of the same No, no. We, yeah, we're educated on that <laughs> okay, stuff. Okay, that's good. Good but job. Sh should we call that's Steven good, and ask him? No, 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 yeah. If Steven was here, I guarantee... I would bet money that he... He, <laughs> he thinks he, that pee comes out of the butt. <laughs> hey, babe. Steven. Where do you think <laughs> pee comes from? Versus where a tampon goes in the vagina. How do girls pee with tampons in, Stephen? Can they? Or does it all get clogged up? Where does the pee come from? <laughs> it fills up. It fills up like a balloon, right? Ew, no. <laughs> That's a, it's a big pee sponge. It grows into like a, one of those dinosaur-shaped things when those sponges expand. Ew, those little smiley, you know, smile face. Sponges? Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it becomes. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're right, Stephen. You're yeah. right. I just want to see if you knew what happens when a girl pees with a tampon in, and you do. You know exactly what happens. So yeah. we're proud of you. We love you. We miss hey. you, and I hope you're filming some fire talks right now. So many fire talks. All right. Well, I like eight girls on the way. I gotta go. All right. Don't get too crazy tonight. We got a podcast yeah, tomorrow. I'll be there soon. You yeah. Ready? We're going to podcast tomorrow. Yeah, you and me. We're going to vlog, and then we're going to go to uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. Ride the roller coasters. <laughs> I can't tell all right, hang up on him. Hang up on him. I made that last part up. He loves shit like that. He'll get all excited. He's going to tell <laughs> that other kid. <laughs> oh, yo, me and Jeff go to Six Flags tomorrow. Bro, I feel so bad for your future kid if they're, like, a nerd. <laughs> like, if they're not, like, a cool, like, fucking jock-ass bro-ass dude, you're going to hate them. Or a girl. Them. I, yeah. <laughs> okay, Andrew Tate. No, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not, no. She the, she said that last part about hate the kid. At, at, right no, hate them like like a frat. So you're gonna hate him if no. it's a girl. No, I'm not gonna hate. Oh, that's oh, what it sounded that's like. <laughs> that's not what I said. I was corrected. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. I would love my child if it's a girl, a you boy, a, a gay kid. boy. If it's a gay kid, look, be who you are, live your life to the fullest. Okay. Two questions. That's it. Gay son or thought daughter? Probably gay son. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, Twitch. I actually I thought that I th thought that went out for a second, and it would be hell to thought. see my daughter bringing home guys that don't respect me, and then I'm gonna get into trouble with them. Yeah. Or if she's my all son over the just wants to you know fool around with other guys, you know. It is what it is. Okay. Next question. <laughs> OnlyFans daughter or Twitch streamer son? OnlyFans daughter. Fucking have my kid playing video games. That'd be horrible. <laughs> Wait, See, so what? That, that reverts me back to the original thing. Like, your kid... Well, I'd pick the gay son over all of them. No, I you know. know. No, That's I, the same thing. A Twitch a streamer cool or a gay son. son. It's the same thing. <laughs> if my daughter was going to show her privates online, <laughs> at least make some money off of it, yeah. you know? She's out here saying you love this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do I tell you these things? I just, I'm getting too comfortable with you now. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, can I play that video that I sent you? 
uh, of the jet. What jet? Uh, Andrew Tate's jet. Yeah. Let's play it. Top G. Top striker. This is how we're doing private jets nowadays. We're not doing all of that fucking little brokey crypto influencer bullshit. I'm not fucking KSI or some fucking Logan Paul's boyfriend, whatever his name is. Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Bro, we're doing big boy jets. This now. is real. This yeah. Is he's, that's I'm also not a jet, right? You. Like, that's a. Uh, no, it is. It's ooh, a real big charter ooh. with like a bed inside. But how big of a charter? Should I remake this? I'm about to go on a jet tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. kind of funny. Mike, take, take his Logan uh, Paul's, Paul's little boyfriend. boyfriend, Mike, whatever your name is. What do you think Mike about? Mike probably loved this one that came out, oh, huh? Oh, my God. I would. What do you think of Andrew Tate being censored? Um, and be careful because... You want because my fucking opinion on this? Um, people are getting canceled left and right for their opinions Yeah, there's no this. real there's no uh, right good way to address it. Um, I think censorship is a weird thing. You know, mm. I, I, I don't get how uh, a platform could decide that we just want this guy off. Yeah, but Andrew Tate's a piece of shit. I don't, I don't give a fuck. You yeah. know, if that's the guy you want to take down, I think you cool. pass. Yeah, you live to see another week in the canceled culture. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 don't ask me. I'm a criminal. I, I fucking, I don't know how I ended up here. I'm a criminal turned influencer. You want to yeah. know my opinion on things on politics? Don't. I don't even know what I am. I don't even know what. What am I a fucking? Uh, I really didn't ask your opinion. On <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion? Andrew Tate or politics? The uh, censorship. Let's both. I think I, I'm in agreement with you. Like it's it's. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What he said. Uh, well, yeah, what you said was good. <laughs> no, I've just seen enough people get canceled for saying the wrong thing, and I think that's the right thing to say. So that's what I would have said with or without you. It's so cool how you operate. You don't drive. You have your friends drive you around. I just got a new driver. Oh yeah. It's incredible. His Ooh. name's Big Money. Are you gonna start getting chauffeured around in like a Rolls Royce or something? Should I do that? I just like a good SUV. It's fine. Why don't you get a girl yeah. driver? Why wouldn't I get? Cause well, Ooh. he also has a gun and he's like a big strong. Why man wouldn't you get a girl with a gun? Yeah. Cause bitches can't do shit. <laughs> just <come on> <laughs> there we go. That'll get clipped out with some Tate speech in the background. Go ahead. Yeah. That's, yeah Why no. wouldn't you have a female driver that is armed? Honestly, because I think society doesn't offer enough roles of protection to females. Um, you know, the, the jobs just aren't, they aren't offered. And I would love to become an activist for that because I do think women are as capable as men at doing jobs like that. Wow. And I agree. I agree. <laughs> Whatever she said, I agree. Do you approve that message? Sarah? Yes. I would, I guess. But yeah. I do like a good, big, strong man. Like, I feel of course. safer. And I mean, it's a dope gun is having a gun. somebody walk around super tall with you, you know? Yeah. And, and nobody fucks with somebody that big. Yeah, it's kind of a power move as well. You know what I mean? Like, I like to walk around. Like, I'm shopping in a mall and there's like a big, strong man following me around. I'm like, yeah, yeah. We needed that in London. We were getting into a bunch of beefs everywhere. Really? Yeah, people would say, suck your mom. Suck your mom. <laughs> oh my God, I wish we had that footage ready. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it'll be in our were you, vlog. We're going to make a vlog Logan? from the trip. Yeah, but this was before we even met up with Logan. It was just us. We were in a right, cab we on our way to uh, meet up with everybody. Yeah. We just left the airport. We didn't even touch down on London soil yet. Yeah. And this kid kicks the side of the cab. Our cab driver's in his mid-50s probably. <laughs> probably 60s even. Yeah. He gets out to fight the guy. And we're like, I, so I hop out. I'm like... Yo, it, just chill. It's it's all good. Like the car's fine. Let's just go. This guy's a fucking punk. Was he beefing you? Beefing Mike? Uh, so after that, he Mike starts beefing with, with Kyle. He's like, "Put your f camera down. Put, f suck your mom. Suck your mom." <laughs> and I'm like, "You suck your mom." So I start <laughs> fucking with him now, and I'm like, "This, like, I'm gonna hit him because no. there's no guns there, so you could just do whatever the fuck." There's you really want. no guns there. No. Well, it's I know nice. he doesn't have a gun. Yeah, yeah. he's a knife. I could get away from a knife, you know. Yeah. Unless he throws it at me, it sticks in my back. <laughs> <laughs> suck your mom. <laughs> 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 Those are just your last words. Yeah. Suck your mom. That's yeah. insane. I didn't know that. We got into it right away, and it happened multiple times out there. We need a big, tall. Why do you think they around. were beefing you? Why? Why do people hate you? Well, it wasn't. The guy kicked the car because you drive on he the other side of the driver. road there. So mm. he's driving on the fucking wrong side of the road. But that's how. That's the right side of the road. No, there. Jeff didn't yeah. provoke any of these. Like there were just like people that wanted the smoke for no reason. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, and I was just an innocent bystander just stepping in, a vigilante yeah. to save the day. I almost want to, like, go somewhere with you and purposefully, like, start a little something just to, like... Where? Where do we go? Come with us oh, to the no. UK. Let's go. Yeah, honestly, just go to London. Somebody's bound to say something. Bound to fucking hate me out there. To you like or me. No, but people were very nice out there. There's a lot of, like, everybody loves YouTube there. So, you know, like, when we were walking around, it was fucking dope to have like UK fans. Do you have a lot of girl fans or just guy fans? No, every girl, well, yeah, it's it's 50-50, but in Mykonos, 
every girl that came up to me was about you. They were like, where's Tana? Mm, FaceTime really? Tana. Very true. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I Very love true. that. They were a Because I want to live rent-free in your mind. Yeah. Like, that's all, oh, that's my favorite fucking thing. We're in fucking ancient Greece, and everybody's like, I love Tana, and you're on here saying, oh, daddy, fuck my ass. And that's like, <laughs> like, and then there's guys vaping outside the Coliseum. Like, what is the world coming to, man? You are one of those. What? I'd be the person vaping outside the Coliseum. Well, Coliseum they were dressed as, as gladiators, and they're hitting their vapes. <laughs> It was so funny. I thought it was so much funnier than what it, I posted a TikTok of, of it. It flopped, but flopped. I was dying when it fucking happened. When I caught this guy vaping, it was so funny. That is incredible. Um, Oscar, do we have callers? I have a caller lined up with a confession thing. If you want to do that. Oh, you do? All right. Yeah, let's yeah. take it. What's confession? Sounds fun. It's a new segment we tried out last week. Okay. It, we did it with Mike for yeah. the first one. Yeah. We took mushrooms in the desert. Uh, what's going on, man? How's it going? Welcome to Jeff FM. Can we see them or hey. no? Uh, it's anonymous. So this is a new segment we're trying out. We did it for the first time last episode, and I did it with Mike, and he was very pissed off about it. <laughs> but uh, we have Tana yeah, here today. She's a lot more open-minded, and Hi. she has What's great up? advice. So I say we just jump right into it. Let's hear your confession, your anonymous confession. Oh, this is good. This is good. <laughs> All right, this is, I mean, I guess besides Oscar, this is something I've never told anybody before. But when I was in like my mid-20s, I was living in New York City going to acting class. Started dating a girl from the class. And uh, if you know how it is in New York, it's not easy to find a place to live by yourself. So we were dating for a little bit, and I find out she still lives with her ex-boyfriend. Red flag, but I ignore it. <clears throat> One day Your she's fault. sick home from work and she's like, Hey, come over, right? I'm like, All right, bet. I go over to her house, you know, and we're hanging out for a little bit, end up having sex. Very close to finishing, we hear the downstairs door open to the complex, the apartment complex. Okay. She stops. She goes, I think that might be, I won't say his name, we'll say Kevin. She goes, I think that might be Kevin. The wow. ex? I'm yeah. like, Damn. Okay, okay. And she's like, Oh, it's all good, you know? I'm going, I'm going. I hope this is not a murder confession. I think we have to. uh, Listen, I pull out, finishing as the front door to her apartment opens. Wow. Okay. My backpack, all my stuff sitting on their couch. I'm surprised you didn't see it. She gets up. I jump up, finish on my hands, on my legs, all over myself. (laughs) Hide in the closet. Why did you 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 innately go to hide? Like, you're you're the one dating. To avoid the drama. I don't think there would have been like a fight or anything. They were broken up. I think. So you knew y'all were sharing this bitch, no? So <laughs> no, 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 no. Were you a side piece? Guy, but wasn't in the place to get her own apartment and move out. I don't know. I don't. You know. I, I was. And you don't want to get her in trouble, so you're like, I'll just hide. And but, also, you want to yeah, avoid yeah, the beef. You don't, you're not trying to get into dude. it. I'm, I'm a big. I'm a bigger dude. Like I'm tall, bigger dude. He's a little dude. I didn't want any fight. I didn't want any drama, anything. I don't in believe the closet, you. I, I don't I believe grab, you. Maybe like out of her clothing or something, wipe myself off, but I didn't. Pulled up my underwear, pulled up my pants, come everywhere, all of my legs. This has to be one of your weakest life moments. Like you're covered in cum, hiding in a closet from a tiny dude. (laughs) As she she gets him to go, she's like, I'm not feeling so well. Will you walk me down to the corner store? They go down to like the little bodega or whatever. I hear the downstairs door closed. I make my way out. I don't know. Is this young gravy talking about (laughs) Sherry and Monty Monty coming in the house? (laughs) (laughs) The little dude. He's got a good voice. Wow, I love that. But uh, I made eye contact with him and her at the bodega when I was leaving on the corner. I I kind of turned my head. I saw her. She saw me. (laughs) He turned and saw me. And then she was in Midtown Manhattan. I had to ride the train all the way back to Brooklyn. Um, pants stuffed to myself. Clothes hard, like well, good, cracking. Well, good for you, bro. I'm happy you got that off your chest. Starch it's pants. not the worst thing ever, you <laughs> I know? I mean, in, in that situation, I'm definitely the female. I would do that. I would, That's I would, just something I've never even, yeah. like, told my boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tell I'm your boys, bro. They'll think it's now, cool, like, you know? I'm just like, it, 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 it is what it is. It's not a bad story. I think you should have came on her face, let him walked in, and then boxed him naked with cum everywhere, <laughs> personally. That would have been gangster. Yeah. yeah, that's dope. And the start to a really cool porno, honestly. You all could have tag-teamed her. <laughs> Did you ever go back again? Oh, yeah. we. I mean, we continued dating. She ended up getting her own place. It's my wife now. You know. <laughs> the mother of my children. Uh, <laughs> I ended up meeting the guy out when we were out just a night on the town one time. She was like, oh, my God, there's my ex. And yeah. he had come up to us. And he was like, hey, I'm so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. Came Looked him dead in the eyes. Just like, bro, that we had an exchange you'll never know about. Like... <laughs> 
Sorry. Oh Damn. my God. Well, you know, bro, I'm proud. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm really proud of you. Proud of you. Hey, uh, I really appreciate you uh, like y'all taking the call. We're watch here the for new you. Pod, watch the new barbershop episode today. Oh hell yeah! What'd you think? You know, the Mike words and I, I said. The same age. I love when you have Mike on because he talks about a lot of shit I'm into. So what did you what did you think well, about Tana. the the nice stuff I had to say about Tana here on the barbershop? Yeah, you just like really love Mike, man. Like, I, like I'm not Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say the green screen door photo of Anna was amazing. So thank you. That there was you okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what did you think about what he yeah, had to say? Yeah, what did you think about what he had to say with the green screen door? Like, you know, what he was saying about me. <laughs> this guy don't remember. No, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's all too quick. It's bullshit. They don't even think they don't take it too serious. You know. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Thank you, bro. Just, Thanks for calling in. We got to get hey, to one I more. But. You guys. I'm happy you got that off your chest. <laughs> Thanks, have a good one. Bye, love yeah, have you. A good day. Um, Damn, what a you, pussy. Yeah. Well, do you want to do another one either. of those? Or? I kind of like the confessions corner. Do you want to try one more? Do you have one I more lined up, Oscar? Uh, let me see. I got a few people that messaged me. We could do weather segment. All right, let's just do the fucking weather, huh? Hey, hey asshole. Weather suck my. We're here in Nashville, and we're gonna be seeing if anyone knows what Jeff FM is. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know what Jeff FM my is? Dick? No. no. Have you heard of Jeff FM? No. No. Jeff FM? Yeah. Have you never. heard? No. No, you've never heard of Jeff FM. <laughs> no. Have you heard of Joey Chestnuts? No. He pre-recorded this. Yeah. This you is all heard fake. Of him? No. Let me tell you. Is he Republican? No. Then fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. Have you heard of Jeff FM? No. No. Have you heard of Jeff? I guarantee FM? that girl didn't. He not, told her to say I'm no. Not. Jeff I'm FM? Here. Never heard of him. Jeff FM? Yeah. 100% this guy well, that's has. That's what I thought. No. Not at all. Jeff FM? All right, how long does this go on Jeff for? Jeff FM? It's almost done. Jeff no. FM, have y'all heard of if a person don't try you making me mad, I got two if I had two. On my patient yeah. lurking, she asked me a question, I hope you wrong, who the fuck is you? Hey, that'd be way back, but I don't care about what they say. Hey. Well, Jeff, it looks like no one's fucking heard of you. Back to you guys. <laughs> fuck Jeff Reddick, I'm glad you got hit by that crane. <laughs> <laughs> is he on ice? Is he fired? I mean, it was, he put some work into that. It's better than when he just calls it in. You yeah. know, I actually, he actually edited a video up nice. Yeah. And honestly, ended it, honestly for me, that was actually like a little better than last time because last time I had to edit that. Yeah. Oh, wow. So he really did the damn thing. I liked that more than the he weather. He said, it's fuck Jeff Whittick. I'm glad you got hit by that crane. That was a nice, <laughs> nice little cherry on top of that. Yeah, he's done. Weather segment's done. That's it. <laughs> uh, actually, it's done for a couple weeks until he fucking gets it together. The yeah. next segment should be a formal apology. Yeah. And that's bullshit. Yeah. People had to know that... Odds of all those people not knowing, he had to cut out the people that said, oh, yeah, I love Jeff FM. That's so bullshit. That's bad for me, too. You know, the only podcast I'm on is Jeff FM. They have so. to know Tana, at least. That was fake. At least do it yeah. fucking authentic if you're going to do that shit. But it was funny when the, oh, what no. the guy said at the end. The black kid saying that I got hit by a crane. He's happy that I got hit by the crane. The Republican woman was That was nice pretty touch. funny, too. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. good. Good work, Ryan, you piece of shit. Proud of you, Ryan. Seriously. Uh, the, the other caller, Jetty. Okay. What's going on? Yo. Hi. What's going on? Yo. Welcome to the confession segment. Shout out from Toronto. Hey, Toronto. Hey, Toronto. Yo, we in the six. So what do you have to tell us today? Uh, me and this girl have been dating for about two years. The sex was starting to go on for a while. I was starting to get a little distracted. So I ended up thinking of her mom to help me finish. Is that the entire confession? Like, basically that uh, a girl I was dating, I thought of her mom to help me finish. Wow, okay. so you have an attraction to the mother. Like a the, mom, the mom was sick. like early to mid 40s, me and this girl in her 20s. And Did yeah. you ever tell her that? Of course not. I think you should tell her. Maybe it could spice things up, you never know. You could live out your Pornhub fantasy. Maybe they want to fuck This is actually together. really fucked up to say, but that, that girl's mom is um, no longer with us. See, Ooh. that's what I wanted. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. She, she actually, uh, yeah, she ended up uh, passing in her I'm, early I'm just to kidding. mid-40s. I'm really sorry but, for your uh, loss. It's not my loss. We've all came to <laughs> me, and, me, and girl, me and the girl are together. I would never wish that on anyone, but um, we've that's all not, came that's to the thought loss. of. Are you person, still together? You know? Sorry, I was just thinking about Absolutely. money. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay, well, that's. I, I was gonna say this would be a ballsy confession if you're still dating that girl, even though it's anonymous. You know, I wouldn't I trust us. Your, I'm, your I'm, dead I'm mom. sure you have my name and my face posted all over all, everything. No, but, uh, no, 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 it's no, a safe no. space over here at Jeff FM, and honestly, we're really proud of you. Rip. 
for sure rip to her but uh, yes we're really proud of you uh, yeah uh, how do you there's nothing you can't really follow up on that but uh yeah i guess that was my, i've been um, there before bro that, but not with what? the mom no not with the mom one time i was i was with this girl and i liked her roommate and sometimes i would i would visualize her her roommate being well sometimes yeah when you've been together for a long time and sometimes things get pretty lubricated so the guy loses a bit of the sensation and so You're you saying feel she like was you can go for wet? quite a while. She was too wet, so you thought of her mom? <laughs> sometimes that's... I didn't say that, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then no. sometimes uh, you feel like you kind of just got to get distracted. You're looking and thinking about other things. Yeah. And, and so, um, yeah, if it, was a new, if it was a new girl, that'd be great to impress. But uh, we've been together for a while, so... I yeah. understand. Yeah. I, you know... No you, no, you don't. You don't understand. Maybe she... No, I totally came to the thought of people's mothers who are now dad. It's... it's <laughs> Yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, that doesn't count uh, as necrophilia, right? Was no. she? What was? Did she pass after the fact? That, yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine then. You're good, yeah, bro. You're you got good. nothing oh, to worry about. I, I let him go. Oh, all right, whatever. Damn, it would have been crazier though if the mom had died and. <laughs> and then he and he's doing it to a dead person. That would be fucking weird. That I would have to do an anonymous confession to get that off my chest. Yeah, for sure. I think we're helping people with this segment. I actually really like this segment. You do? I do. Great. We'll do you it. Should we'll tell your it. mom story, Jeff. Huh? You should confess your mom story. What story? You Driving the kids to school. No. What? Come on, <laughs> Jeffy. My story of what? Where my mom? Where you drove somebody's somebody's kid to school? Oh, I that maybe that's what today's episode was supposed to be therapeutic for you in order to get back to normal and in the swing of things to get some things. All off right, I was like twenty one. I was drinking heavy at the time. Okay. I lived in Miami. And, Who can relate? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was wild. Okay, this was a completely different version of me. You wouldn't even. I, I don't even know. He if sounds you, fun. I don't know if oh, you would even well, like me. Yeah, you story. would probably. I don't know. I'm you sick. Story? I'd probably like it. Yeah, I think you would like both versions of me. I don't know which one you like more. Actually, now that I think yeah. about it, but probably I met this. One, this you. I met this woman. She was in her early forties, maybe, and we went home together to her house. Yeah. And she had a picture on the fridge, with a family, and she had a kid that was like maybe seven years old. Okay. So we're in the house and we have to keep it down because the kid's sleeping and we stayed up all night. She was drinking wine. I was drinking. I was drinking. We were both drinking wine. And in fucking. the morning. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. I just like making you say it. Oh, <laughs> say it. I was fucking her. <laughs> so yeah, we were fucking and then uh, we're keeping it down. The hesitation. Even he's like, we were fucking. <laughs> and then in the morning she was hung over. She was too fucking drunk, you know, and I had slept. I'm, I'm, I woke up and I wasn't. Yeah. drinking that much i wake up now and i think i slept for like two hours or something i wake up and she's still drinking and the kid has to go to school so she asked me if i could take her kid to school did you take him to school i took the kid to school i dropped him <laughs> off at school in miami <laughs> what do you want I from just, me I just what do you know want the next like 11 years of his life were hard <laughs> like, till he was 18 like they like that doesn't that doesn't sound like things go, we're but, gonna so get the father better. passed away and the picture on the on the on the fridge was of you know and that's why she was drinking so much and she was dealing with a lot and i ran after that i, I got this out of that dark. situation this is dark i know it got dark i don't need what'd you I, talk about with him on the way to school you're like miss your dad eh <laughs> <laughs> you sick fuck you got a dark sense of humor tana damn i like I'm it sorry i like it no it's dope i, I mean i was I was kidding. Oh, you made a lot spitting. of death, death jokes today. Yeah, I'm not Oscar meaning to make dead the, people. Oscar loves the death jokes. Those are his I favorites. really, like, I, for, the first one was presented to me. There was no yeah. way out of that. The second one was presented to me. You know what? Fuck that. Fuck They've that. all been, yeah. They I'm were not just all layups. making dead parent jokes. No, you know you, what they I mean? were all layups and you just, you just been slam dunking them all in. Yeah, honestly. But so, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's fucked up. Man. How did you feel after that? Like the anxiety when you got home? Or was it like a dope, funny situation? You're 21. You probably don't. When I, at the time, yeah, it was like just look at me living, doing this new stuff. You yeah. know, I'm just I'm doing such cooler stuff than my friends in Staten Island are doing. You know, yeah, but not really. <laughs> you know, it's kids just, at school. I was your age, Kyle. <laughs> Imagine the caller that just called in about the dead mom. Like that was her, and she just. I'm doing confessionals and here, show. and I'm not even anonymous. <laughs> oh, why am I doing my confessionals with my face out on yeah. the fucking that's platform? Not, that's we'll not blur even it. bad. We'll blur it. We'll blur my face from those confessions. <laughs> All right, enough of this shit, man. Uh, uh, what your else? Mom, your, your mom didn't uh, respond. Okay, that's cool. Uh, whatever. You know, 
she had a good time out in Italy. Yeah. And she cried and stuff a lot. It was it was nice. Was she really happy to see you? Do you yeah. see your mom often? Yeah, but she was more happy to go to Italy, you know, because yeah. she's never been. She never Aww. left the country, so it was, it was good. To and see that. her family, too. Mm-hmm. Meet her family. That's yeah. cute. Yeah, it was, it was cute. Really cute. It, was, it was. I wish she could have came. I love I would have gone. I would have slayed. I would have. I was going to meet you in Mykonos, Bella, when we got back. Um, she was going back out to Mykonos and we had just Again? rekindled. Yeah. We just like rekindled and she's like, come with me to Mykonos. Let's go together. Like, da, da, da. but I knew if I went to Mykonos with her, like two days after I was back from Italy, like in Europe, I was all in. Like I would have came back. You would have been fully. Yeah. Yeah. I would have came back dating her, you know, but I almost went cause I could have saw you. I could have, we could have had a whole moment. Dang. You guys would have been there. Would you guys been scissoring? Scissor out there. That's what I was gonna say. I don't, I don't want to be offensive. <laughs> oh no, you don't want to. Did you? Messing. Did you ever? Would you scissor? Is that? Have I ever scissored? Yeah. What do you think? What is girls? No. <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. You ha- girls actually scissor? Some. No. Girls scissor. I've scissored. I'm Tana Mojo, and, I've <laughs> and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Just like this? Yeah, but it's not like common. <laughs> like it's not like a. It's more like you're dating a girl. You're being serious. Yeah. Wait, how do girls like, have sex? They. She's saying it right now. They scissor. The, no, we don't. It's not like a scissor every time. It's like you're dating a girl and you're like a couple months and you're bored. You're like fuck it tonight. Is it just let's like, scissor. Is it just wrestling no. when I it's swear. girls? And does it do anything? It's kind of like knocking knees. <laughs> is it like? <laughs> Wait, what is that? Knocking knees. Like, it's just like you're just hitting each other's bones, just trying to figure it out, wishing so there like, was a dick. It's like wrestling. Wishing one of you Is it like a spooning a little? Because spooning is kind of like you get something no, out of that, like, I guess, like, right? You can come from scissoring. Is that like what you're wow. asking? Wow. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Interesting. I'm teaching the men so much today. I'm a humanitarian. This was a great seriously. episode. Yeah. I think Very we smashed it out of the park. I think we got, we got into the groove of things. We're back and better than ever. Yeah. New joint podcast soon. Ooh. Yeah. Can I say it? Say it. What do you want? Are you talking about the name? I don't know. We haven't fully decided on the name. Off the meds, off I the like. Because I, I just feel like. I ran. So while you were gone, fooling around in Italy, I was like the wife. Her husband's out in the military, just fucking around. And yeah. I was back home. I was fighting I for was, our freedom. <laughs> <laughs> and I was back home taking care of us. I took some meetings and I ran different names by a lot of people in the industry. Yeah. Everyone's favorite was brain dead okay i don't i like off the meds i think more but people were saying brain dead like hits it out of the water because it's like i'm fucking brain dead yeah and your brains <laughs> fucked brain up dead. yeah and it's 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 short it's good it's i i like brain dead what was the other one there was one more that we like oh just friends people uh, like that for it was them. close friends or something like that like, no just friends or, or friends just with friends. benefits oh. just friends seem like too like people like, like just girls friends backpack and, yeah there, I think that one's the most monetizable, like the merch and the. Why don't you do a Twitter poll? Should I? Mm-hmm. Yeah, put yeah. off the meds in it. I, all I want is it to. And I like off the meds. I want it to go into the Twitter poll, and that's it. That's it. I. We let Twitter. Decide. I said my part. Yeah, and if it's up there with the three, then we let them decide, and that's it. Yeah, uh, I think that's fair. That's scary. Who gives a fuck? I mean, I'm like, letting the internet decide my life is scary. That's like all <laughs> I've done for fucking. I've, yeah. I've been an influencer my whole life. Um. <laughs> Sound off in the comments below as well, though, and yeah, let us know what you guys think. Yeah, if they, maybe they throw in like another wild card one that we could add to the poll, so it'd be like yeah, a four. Yeah, but person also just poll. their favorite of the three. Like, I would love to know. Yeah. What the best viewership in the world thinks? The weatherman was telling me, "Bimbo and the broad." Uh, those are both me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bimbo or, and no, I'm no, the no, broad. No, the bimbo and the blonde. That's what he was telling. That's me. still That's still both there. Yeah. No, and the blind. Oh. I just don't want to put blind in because then I'm jinxing it. I got to get surgery on my eye yeah. on the back of my eyeball in like. I like Can legs. I come? Yeah, of course. That'd I want to go to your surgery. I'm going to dress up as a slutty nurse and OnlyFans <laughs> cosplay. And I'm going to prop it completely off of your misfortune. Oh, my God. However, that'd be sick. Uh, then I'll put the scrubs on and I'll be there to like hold your hand. Or I'll wait in the waiting room. Wow. Yeah, that'd be great. I would attend your surgery. Should do a podcast out there again. Yeah, we did a podcast out there last time, but I was actually on the meds. And really? it's hard to do podcasts on fucking drugs. Yeah, I've never. You call somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love you, and I love being here, and I miss being here. The bathroom boys, I love you so much. I think you guys are the best ever at this, and I was really excited to be here. Today. I love you too. It's good to have you back. I missed you, and now you leave again. Go off to Scissor down in Florida. We'll see you next week. I'm jealous. I know. Hey guys.
You're gonna love this. 